All right, so this is a disadvantage of working in the fitness industry that you wind up going through speakers, like literally going through them. Um, and I don't, I can't tell you how often this happens, just like every, I don't know, three to six months. So I just had to snag some things from Marshalls. All right. Um, actually two pairs so I don't have to make another trip sooner than later so I got the black on black and then I got these black on whites just something simple and basic so that when I go walking into my classes to teach I don't look like you know I just I don't know escape to the north or something so all right so finally got some new sneakers um you know being in fitness i just oof, i it's just every three to six months you know um you're having to i'm sure i'm sure runners go through the same thing but ugh, shit gets expensive but um you know, I was surprised that I actually needed because I usually have a couple of pairs of sneakers. And um, part of this is be, me being kind of bougie. Or, or, well, not really. So I had a pair of things, a pair of sneakers that got worn out. And I had bought some. I don't, I think I bought them. I don't know if I bought them online. Whatever. I bought a pair of like brand new like Reeboks or whatever and I just never opened them. I think I had them joints for like half a year to a year because I just wasn't letting go of the other old sneakers um yeah I uh, uh and then I had some other ones I had some like all black Chuck Taylors uh yeah <laughs> I had some all black Chuck Taylors which I just don't like wearing because they're all black. I don't know. I thought they were going to look way better than what they do. But when I have them on with my black socks, I just look like I'm wearing black socks, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyway, I had like another, had a, another pair of like all black New Balance sneakers and um, I'm that I wound up giving away to the homeless, to homeless dude, like back when I was giving out all of those, um, feet, when I was feeding the homeless back in December, 2018. So that got rid of like one of my spare pairs. Um, and then I gave the pair of Reeboks that I said, the brand new pair, when I finally like actually opened them and wore them or whatever, they were so tight and uncomfortable. Uh, that I wound up giving them to another homeless person, you know, so like, I had like a, I had an old pair of great Chuck Taylors that I was, wasn't refusing to give up, I was wearing them joints, but, I mean, the whole soul is just coming out, like, it's, it's ridiculous, those joints is worn through, um, and, and so like another, another, all of these joints is just getting just destroyed between my feet and the ground. And I had a, I have another pair somewhere that I just, it's probably buried under, so I don't know, that I couldn't, I stopped wearing because um, there was something about this. I don't know if it was the sole or maybe they didn't have any laces. I don't know. They had, it was something where they kept sliding off whenever I was doing like sled work. And that was just tiring. So I just sort of retired to them to somewhere. I don't think I would have thrown them out. And now that I'm thinking about it, I wish that I would have, you know, looked for those before I spent, you know, money on two pairs of brand new sneakers. But hey, whatever, we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, I'll take the pair that I'm, that I didn't seek out and give them to some 
some homeless folk. I might actually have to go through my my closets and see what because there's a lot of shoes that I'm just not wearing. Um, and I don't want to put them in like a I don't I don't donate to Goodwill or any thrift stores because that stuff can sometimes disappear before it even makes it to the shelf. Um, so I'd rather give it to a person in person and um, you know go from there. But all right, that's that. Ray Reese, Reese's Masterpieces. Uh, take care. All right, Ray Reese, Reese's Masterpieces. See ya.